Rangers recap is back. Jake Howard, Steven Ellis. I know we've been a long time coming, but we're finally back at it. I had stuff, he had stuff. But overtime thrill is galore here for the North York Rangers. Friday, Saturday night saw them win 3-2 two, two over the Orangeville Flyers. Noah Jordan scored the winner. Then fast forward a couple hours later the next day, another double overtime thriller. 2-1 thanks to Nicholas Shuck's OT winner, double OT winner against the Aurora Tigers. So the North York Rangers have won 11 of the last 14 games. How? Oh, well, you know what? They're a very fast team, and it's kind of hard to believe that how, how quick the game was on Sunday and how the pace was fantastic and both teams were intense, no. considering Aurora was finishing a 3-3. Three and three. North York also played a double overtime game the day before going to double overtime again. So that's that's an incredible amount of hockey those teams had to play, and they were both extremely fast. And, you know, the, the shows that this team could get fantastic performances out of everybody you know when you are losing guys like Campoli and Maziars and and Alexander to Team Canada East World or World Junior 8 Challenge Camp you know that's pretty tough to kind of overcome and they played fantastic over the weekend and even the Tigers they're missing three of their key guys Romano Guro Day and I'm missing one. oh Brock Welsh that's the other one so they're the Aurora and North York the only teams in the entire league to, to have more than two players at that camp 40 players at it only around 18 to 20 will ever make that squad and moving forward what is the one weakness the North York Rangers have right now that they must improve in, or, in order to be considered a true threat for the championship well, you know, they do they do have a lot of scoring depth. But the problem is they don't score a whole lot of goals, and they didn't really score a lot in these last few overtime games. They probably would like to get a couple more goals. You know, losing Camilleri doesn't – or uh, losing Capoli, sorry, doesn't help. And the, overall, the team just they, – they couldn't get many scoring chances. But defensively, we obviously know that's not an issue. The goaltending has been fantastic. And, again, like they're winning a lot of games, so it's not like scoring is bad. It's just I think they'd want to score a couple more goals. Well, on the power play, for me, they rank near the bottom of the OJHL converting on less than 18% highlighted by an 0-3 against the Aurora Tigers. And you point out perfectly, they have the depth, they're really gritty, and that's what I like about them. And it's easier to stop a goal than to score one, classic cliche. And for the North York Rangers goaltending-wise, Kobe Mew is phenomenal this past week. Four straight victories, even picked up a victory when he came in relief for Jed Alexander. How important is he for the team now and moving forward? Very few teams have a number one goalie that can kind of steal the show, and very uh, much less have another goalie who can basically take over and get the job done. And Kobe Muse is blowing our mind every single time he plays. You know, he didn't have a top, face a lot of shots against Aurora, but he had a lot of big oh, saves. And, save at the end. Exactly. Fan to, shot, so many saves. And again, going to double overtime for a second straight night, like that's that's important for a guy who's really tired and he's playing as good as he is. So Kobe Muse has been fantastic for this team ever since they acquired him. It's and I will never forget his very first game with the team. Scores in the score. scores in the preseason. Yeah. I think we've mentioned that about. 100 times, but... Hey, a goalie scoring is phenomenal. It, I don't care what league. Exactly. A goalie scoring is definitely huge, but yeah, you got two goalies that can win any game, and you, you can throw either of them in a playoff situation, and I think you can rely on both of them. Yeah, one of the key stable points for Colby Muse when making the decision which OJHL team he would go for was the North York Rangers defensively. They're so good defensively, have probably one of the best overall depth, because we saw Dante Fantuzzi Top line mids with Sam Hunter when Mazgars is at that camp. But that's all the time we have today. Jake Howard, Steven Nelson, we'll catch you next week right here on Rangers Recap.